Okay guys, this is where I am gonna be today. I'll be at the children's. We are a hospital. We do have um, about three different hospitals that are connected together. And if you see that sky bridge there, that one actually connects to another part of the hospital. There are about three different sections of it. And this right here is where all the deliveries happen, okay? For those that are interested in delivering babies and family medicine. So this is where I am gonna be today. So let's get started. Good morning, everybody. So I say morning, right? Cause it's, yeah, it's pretty early in here. It's about 5.48 a.m. I just got um, to my inpatient women's and children's rotation. So I remember the previous video I made for you guys was when I was in NICU rotation or where we took care of those newborns, maybe the babies with some kind of born with complications, things like that. So this time for this rotation, I am actually on women's and children. This is where I get to take care of the pregnant mothers, um, their new deliveries, things like that. And then, so pregnant mothers or newborns, that are delivered um, during the course of their pregnancy, of course. So the thing is, we also manage our patient, our clinic patient. So if it's a patient that I see in clinic and then this patient, so it's, she's pregnant, I manage her in the clinic, and then she went into labor, they will call me and then we'll also come in to um, help deliver the baby. So today, I've actually gone downstairs to talk to the night team to get a report from them because most times at night, a lot of times that's when we get those new admissions, you know, people, especially pregnant women, having complications overnight and then come into the emergency room and then being admitted under, actually, in our service. So today, um, I've actually gone down, talked to the team, got my report. I do have two um, pregnant mothers that I do need to take care of today. So normal routine. So for me, because they were admitted last night, of course, there will still be some things that are pending. So I'll go ahead and review the labs, um, see what needs to be done, what medicines they were started on, what the... Um, so the overnight team will tell you the story, but of course, it's also you do your due diligence and go read the charts and review everything. And then after that, I am going to go upstairs, like our women's and children's um, sections in a different part of the hospital, actually a different building completely. So it's going to be an interesting walk back and forth at today. So our rotations are usually, so block rotations, like we do a four week blocks and stuff. So every rotation you get to see um, different things. It's, I, I have to say it's one of the things, I do these videos just because for me personally, when I was getting into residence, it was one of those things I, I was actually curious about because you it was here, oh yeah, your schedule, your rotation, your this, your that, but I didn't actually know like in detail what they actually did, like what that comprised of on a day-to-day -day basis. So again, this is the women's and children, so pregnant moms, deliveries. If there's a new delivery happening, they're paging me, okay? And then we're going up there. Also, if it's a clinic patient, if any other doctor's patient, so any of our, our residents in the program, if their patients were in here to deliver a baby or if the babies were theirs, um, we also, we give them their courtesy call to let them know, hey, your patient's been admitted, or just, you know, kind of give them a rundown what's going on, and then they will also continue to follow that patient. So without further ado, guys, I will just go ahead and review the charts real quick. And for HIPAA violation, you guys do know, I will turn off the video so we're not looking into charts and invading people's privacy. We know that's such a big deal in the healthcare, right? So anyway, I will come back to you guys in a little bit once I'm done here. I'll probably head upstairs, see the moms and see what's going on. Then I'll come back and keep you guys updated. Hey guys, I just got back um, from going around on my patients. Everyone did great. I got a chance to talk to the nurses that work with them overnight. By the way, shout out to you nurses. I mean, you guys do a great job. I have been there. I totally understand, especially if it was working the night shift, you know, those crazy odd hours and stuff. So I've already seen these patients. I'm actually getting ready to discharge one today just because um, she did really great from overnight. I um, had vaginal bleeding and pregnancy and we just kind of wanted to monitor, sort of observe for complications and stuff like that. And she's done well overnight. So I will go ahead and discharge her. Um, there is actually another one that's not doing too well. So definitely will leave her um, admitted in the hospital for sure just to manage her better. Um, we worry about, you know, discharging the pregnant women with complications too soon just because of things that might arise from that. 
So that being said, um, I'm back now to work on my notes. I've reviewed all of the labs. I discussed everything with the patient. I let them know what our plan is going to be for today and they are all very happy with that. So I'm also waiting for my attending physician to come by later on this morning. Um, it's not that time yet. They usually come in a little later. So we'll also go around again to see those patients as well and then discuss our plan for the day and plans for discharge also. I did go downstairs to grab some breakfast. I'm from the cafeteria as well, so while I'm working these notes, just um, find something to eat a little bit. So usually like for breakfast, I try not to eat a whole lot. Then Jake and I do have a cup of grapes as well. You know, we have to have our fruits very healthy and also a bottle of water, right? And later on in the afternoon, we'll probably have something a little bit heavier, but for breakfast, Try not to eat a whole lot you know you know how it is like when you eat too much you start getting tired just exhausted and it is way too early to be exhausted this morning so but that being said i will come back again to you guys in a little bit so let me get on these notes now and work on them oh and by the way um something else i didn't mention which i think is a perfect time to say it because i'm in this um obstetrics like you know women's health um, rotation so for those that are looking to go into family medicine interest in like obstetrics you know you want to deliver babies and things like that so there are actually great opportunities for that i know a lot of rural areas like smaller communities and stuff they do have like primary care physicians like also um, doing that as well me personally ob i'll be honest it's not really my thing i mean i'm happy to gain the training for it and stuff like this so hopefully sometime if i am in the middle of nowhere and you need your baby deliver yes i will be there to do that okay but at the same time or again you know what it comes also handy when you work in different places like the ed i know i actually assisted a delivery one time in the emergency room when i worked at as a nurse practitioner but as a physician, it's not one that I'm looking to get into, but we we'll get the training for it. That's the beauty of family medicine, you know, the training for these um, like different facets of um, the practice as well. And then once you get out of here, so you start working and it's more like you tailor your practice to what really fits you, what suits your schedule, what suits your preference, so to speak. So for me personally, OB definitely not my thing, but you see the gynecology aspect of women's health, um, I'll definitely incorporate that into my practice basically all i'm saying is if you're interested in obstetrics you know you want to deliver babies many times like the hospitals will require you to have like ob so for ob privileges you know they'll give you like a number of deliveries that you have to have um you know gone through so how many babies you must have delivered and so through c-sections vaginal deliveries and things like that so that's an option i know some of our residents we do have like quite a few of them that are interested in going into ob fellowship so it's additional two years after your fm and then you do ob fellowship and that way you're able actually to get on like more of the numbers that are required to meet those like hospital privileges for ob so that that's also an option for you so i just want to point that out for those that didn't know if you're in family medicine you want to be the typical you know old school kind of family medicine physician that does it all that's also possible but it's unopposed family medicine so when you go searching for residency programs and stuff like that you pay attention to that like i said that's something that i didn't know going into the process and applying for this but i researched and then i sort of found that out on my own and i started to make it um, a point of duty to ask them about these things you know what training the residents will get at those hospitals and stuff because every training I mean you get excellent training regardless of where you go but you also want to pick a place that sort of provides what you're uh, looking for or what you intend to incorporate into your practice so I just felt I need to mention that just for those that didn't know so guys I'm done with my notes I'm done with all the charting for the patient um, pretty much done with my morning assignment for today and then uh, I'll just basically just kind of hang around and wait till I get page for other patients say like new deliveries or new moms that are being admi uh, admitted like through the emergency room they're coming into us with any complaints so but for this morning I'm basically free for now until I get any additional calls so today I'm actually reading this book so critical care um, hospitalist medicine because as you guys know we do a lot of like hospital management of patients stuff like that so most times i just 
sort of try to improve, increase the wealth of knowledge that I have in this area, right? Continue to work on it and get better. So that's what I'm gonna be doing probably the next hour until it's lunchtime and then um, we'll see. Who knows, before then I might get a page for a new baby, new delivery or whatnot. Let's see, maybe we might be delivering a baby today or not. Probably not, I don't think, because um, the ones that I have so far, they're not anywhere near their due date. It's still far out, so. So the patient that I did discharge though, that's actually my clinic patient. So that one, I will be um, following up with her. So she will come see me in the clinic within the next few days just to, for a follow-up since she's just got discharged from the hospital. So it will be an outpatient office follow-up, just making sure everything is good with her and all that stuff. So guys, I got a phone call um, about one of our clinic patients. She's actually 42 weeks pregnant. Um, we are making the decision to induce her. So she's coming to labor and delivery to be induced. So I've actually gone upstairs to see her. And we're gonna start all the medicine, like spoke to the labor and delivery nurses. We're gonna start all the medicines that are needed, you know, epidural stuff like that. And when it comes uh, close to time for delivery, and um, we'll see how labor progresses. We hope it goes well. If it does, then it will be a normal delivery, but any complications um, along the way, then we start to consider C-section. But of course, whatever it delivers, we hope um, that it will be a normal vaginal delivery. So I guess, so today, I mean, um, my the rest of my day, I'm actually here. I'm supposed to be here all day, but then again, I also have clinic in the afternoon. So. The way it works like for us when you're women and children you still carry the pager they still have your number to contact you for the pregnant moms for the babies and all that but then i will head over to the clinic so if any patients like if i get any page or anything from the clinic i'll sort of like wrap up my clinic or kind of take a break in between and then run up if it was emergent or see them after i was done with clinic around 5 p.m so for those that are interested in obstetrics and delivering babies, caring for newborns and family medicine, this is your life, you know, you be in the clinic, you deliver babies, you take care of the entire family. Um, there is beauty in that, I mean, it's, but again, you pick what works for you. I know there are a lot of family physicians that are passionate um, about obstetrics and gynecology. Um, I do love gynecology, I mean, taking care of that. Um, women's health as a whole. So guys, I will go ahead and wrap it up for now because I'm gonna be heading over to the clinic. I have a full clinic schedule today, so um, we're getting ready to start pretty soon. Again, you guys, always appreciate y'all for subscribing. So please go ahead, click that subscribe button, comment, like, share, send me emails as always, and I'll be happy to respond.